Hello everyone. Today you will learn how to train a LoRa model for the Hunyuan model on Windows. I will show the full installation and training. You also will provide a full command list for you to follow like any good programmer do. It is copy pasta time. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's get started. Right click on the start button and click search. Then type Windows features and click on the option. Enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. Enable Virtual Machine Platform. If the options were already enabled, there's no need to restart your PC. However, if you just enabled them, a restart will be required. Right-click on the Start button and click on PowerShell Admin. On Windows 11, it is Terminal Admin. Copy and paste the command and press Enter to check distributions. Copy and paste the command and hit enter to set to WSL to version 2. This is required to run Linux distributions. Next, to check the available distributions, copy and paste the command and press enter. We will install Ubuntu 22.04. Copy and paste the command and hit enter to install. This might take a while. After the installation, you will prompted to set a username and a password. Set something you won't forget for general practice. To start Ubuntu, click on the Start Menu button, click on the Ubuntu button. Basic Linux install setting up. Copy the next command and paste and press Enter. Enter your password and hit Enter. And then copy the next command and paste and hit Enter. Great, now we are ready to install Diffusion Pipe. For that, navigate to the project page. Scroll down to the part of the Windows installation and click the Miniconda link. Then click the Installing Miniconda link. Click on the Linux tab and click the Copy button and paste to the terminal and hit Enter. Wait for the installation to complete. Press Enter to delete the Minconda setup file to keep things clean. Copy the next command and paste and hit Enter to activate Miniconda. Copy the command and paste to initialize and hit Enter. Miniconda Virtual Environment Setup to create virtual environment diffusion pipe installation. Copy the command paste and hit enter. Press the Y key and hit enter to confirm the installation. Copy the command and paste conda activate diffusion pipe to activate the environment. Everything is going to be installed in this environment. Before every training you have to run this command. Next is Python environment setup for diffusion pipe. Copy and paste the command and hit enter. To install CUDA for Miniconda, click the link, copy the command, and paste it and hit enter. And now finally, we are going to clone the Diffusion Pipe project. To clone the Diffusion Pipe project, copy the command, paste and press Enter. Type CD Diffusion Pipe and press Enter. To install the specific requirements for the Diffusion Pipe project, copy the command, paste and hit Enter.
Downloading the models. These are big models. Make sure you have the required space. Download the Hunyuan video model. Copy the command. Paste and press enter. Download the VAE model. Copy the command. Paste and hit enter. Download the clip model. Copy the command. Paste and hit enter. Download the text encoder model. Copy the command. Paste and press enter. I have already downloaded the models, so I'm canceling the download. You will have to wait for the models to download fully. After the models has finished to download, open a folder. On the left menu, click on the Linux icon. Navigate to the models folders to verify the download. I was about to show method you can use the models outside the Linux environment, but it makes loading the models slower, so we will skip that for now. For datasets and our trained models, we will create a data folder. Inside of the data folder, create an input folder. Inside the input folder, put your dataset. Disclaimer. This LoRa training is demonstrated on a real person only for the likeness judgment and to show the endless possibilities. This video do not encourage training on a real people for the purpose of distribution. You have all the technology in the world to create your own people. End of message. Datasets for training Hanyuan video can contain videos and images together with or without captioning. Use captioning for more flexibility and control Use the format of the modal or the format you want to enforce in your prompts. Caption accurately, but don't overdo. I know it a bit vague, but so is AI. This, for example, is a sharp image, but very grainy. It is passable. It also depends on your data availability. Try to balance the data set with locations, face expressions, lighting, and different camera angles, but don't overdo it. Give priority to portraits for likeness. Don't use weird expressions or weird camera angles. If you prepared good quality dataset, you are up for success. Datasets depends on your needs and requirements. Let's do some last configurations and start the training. In the example folder, you will find the config files for the training. First time you open these files, they will look like this. They are not that complicated, just a bit cluttered with other model training and some parameters we don't need for this training. I have prepared cleaner files for this training that fit for the folder structure we created. Back up the original files if you like. Download the prepared config files and copy to the same folder. In the dataset config file, we will set the resolution and the path of our dataset. For this run, I set the training resolution to 512 pixels. Set the location of the dataset folder. In the Hanyuan training config file, set the output folder. The output folder will be created automatically. Set the epochs amount. This is how many times the model will train on the data. You can set higher number for higher model selection range at the price of disk space. For this training, I have set it to 100 epochs. Set the save every number of epochs to specify how often to save a LoRa file. For small datasets, use higher number, and for larger datasets, use lower number. To avoid too many LoRa files with minor changes. Next is setting the model's path. If you follow this far, no need to edit the paths. LoRa rank. For this training, I set the rank to 32. That means faster training, less details. You can try 64 for different results. The learning rate. I am not changing the learning rate this time. Basically, a high learning rate might overlook subtle patterns, whereas a low learning rate could result in overfitting to specific data points, reducing the model's generalization ability. In the next tutorial, we will talk about it more in depth. To start the training, Copy the command, paste, and hit enter.
Here you can see the models has been loaded successfully. At this step, the image latents are being cached, which might take a while for larger datasets. The good news is that once it's done, this caching step will be skipped the next time you train with the same dataset. Now the actual training has started successfully. You can wait for the training to end, or you can stop the training at middle by pressing Control C. I will let it run for 30 epochs for this tutorial and stop it. After the training is done, time to test the LoRa. Navigate to the LoRa folder. Double click on the data folder. Double click on the output folder. Double click on the LoRa folder. Double click on the timestamp folder. Here all of the LoRa files. I will test Epoch 16. Copy the LoRa file to your LoRa folder under Models folder in Comfy UI. Rename the file to a more fitting name. Open Comfy UI. Load the LoRa. Enter a prompt. Here's some outputs I have already generated. Let's test on Flow. Click the Flow button. Click the Honey and Flow. I will add a thumbnail to the LoRa so I can remember. Things can escalate quickly. Click Generate to step to another dimension. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. If you like my content and want more, support me on Patreon. See you next time.